and having dinner out there, man. Like they're so righteous. I'm like, you're living on stolen property, bruh. Right. You're out here partying on, on Native Americans and slaves' bones, man. Right. They don't they don't think nothing's gonna happen to them, bruh. The Lord is cold, man. That is a fearful thing that he can put that on you that you don't even realize. That's like somebody burning your feet and you don't even, you're just chilling. Your feet's right. on fire. Right. Somebody's looking like, damn, man, your damn feet's on fire. You're like, oh, for real? No, it ain't. Yeah, your feet's on fire, man. <laughs> right. I, you don't smell your, your your shoes burning? No, man. No, it's, no, it's not. Like, I'm good. Right. What's like, wrong with like you? The f They're looking at you and like, man. man, you're crazy, man. What are you talking about? My right. feet ain't on fire. You can see them roasting. Right. Yeah, and when you tell them that, that they are prideful, they say, no, I'm not. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Give me us. Give me Psalm 73 and 3. And I'm gonna get this 90 for him real quick, man. Cause it says, it says do good, man. That's why, hey, when in, in the kingdom, when it comes, man, yeah, it's man. gonna be something because we're gonna rule. Because what? Why is this world out of whack? Because the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, we were created. Why do you think the Lord gave us these talents? Like running fast, being strong, you know what I'm saying? Having abilities other people don't, even, we're, we're smart too, man. Right. You see what I'm saying? The reason, because we're supposed to be leading right now, man. We're supposed to be the kings of the earth. Right. That's why he calls us a nation. No, I get it. You got that? Yeah, got it. It say, um, okay, Psalm 73 and 3. Um, it says, for I was envious at the foolish uh -huh. when I saw the prosperity of the wicked. It says, I looked at the wicked. I'm like, damn, they flourishing. They got everything. They got Bugattis. They got, they got uh, um, $10 million houses. They get to go out and party all the time. The David's like, man, I look at the envious, look at these evil. They're they're prospering, man. Keep right. going. They say, uh, for there are no hands. No, no, uh, I'm gonna say, for there are no bands in their debt. Come on. That's what I wanted to earlier. Come on. They say, but their strength is firm. Yep, their strength is firm. Like right now, what do they do? They leave their, their money to their, their kids. Right. You know, they got inheritance. Right. They got all types of businesses, all types of all types of things. They got four or five houses, right. million dollar houses. Like, I'll tell you an example. I used to work at the lake, right? Uh -huh. And I used, to, I used to go around the lake and I used to see these houses, those big million dollar, you ever been to the lake? Oh yeah. So you see the mansions, right? Oh yeah. Those are just summer houses. Right. They only stay there about two months out of the year, if that. And these are million, these are houses that you would, you would kill for, man. Right. Beautiful. You walk in there, everything is customized, man. They got a, one guy I was doing work for, he put a roof on his, his dock, right? Uh -huh. And the dock, he looked at it, we're standing on the top of it, we're standing on his porch, right? We're looking over, he's like, man, I don't like that roof. And we're like looking at him, I'm like, what? The dudes are down there doing it. He's like, man, I don't like that. They already got it done. He's like, man, he goes down there, he comes back up. He's like, yeah, I got it taken care of. We're like, what? He's like, yeah, they're putting a copper roof on it. I want copper on there. So you can see it when he flies over. Wow. He flew. He didn't even drive. He flew. He flew from Illinois to the lake. Wow. He flew from Illinois back to the lake. He said that he hates driving because wow. he has to. He has to be on the highway, man. That's how, man. Decadence, man. Man. Wow. So I, Isn't I was, that something? Man, I was walking to work, man. I was listening to some uh, music, man. Yeah. And uh, this Jeezy, that bald head punk. Yeah, yeah, he yeah. He said. I just cop the worry I don't like to walk. Like nigga, you what the? Yeah. Decadence, man. Right. Which is which is kind of hard, and I'm like, damn. You no, know, man. But, hey, hey, this man. is the proof that we're the kings of this earth. This is the book of Deuteronomy seven and verse six. It says, "For thou art holy people." Yep. Uh, what does the word holy mean? Separate. Holy means to separate. So it says. Let me read it verbatim. Thou art a separate people. See, so, so as soon as I get in the zone, man. Yeah. I don't care who it is and what you want. And it says, For thou art a separate people unto the Lord thy power. The Lord thy power has chosen thee to be a special people. Right. Upon unto himself, above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Now who now how, what who can do what the Negro? Let's just talk about black men. Who can do what we can do? Who can? Who, I mean, there's things that we do that people we break records, don't we? Yeah. 
we 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 uh we what else? We invent who invented the stoplight? A black man. Right. Who invented air conditioning? AC. A black man. Oh, right. Come on, oh, man. Oh, uh, I forgot the guy's name. But a but a Jake invented the internet. Look, look. I, I don't I don't get to bring this out too much, man. But this is says it says five brilliant scientists that were black. You know who George Washington Carver is? Yeah. The peanut man? Yeah. He's the one who saved the the, the so-called devils from the dust bowl. They couldn't even they 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 deplenished the earth right. and they couldn't even grow nothing. That's why the dust storms were happening back in uh what yeah. year was that? That was back in the 30s. Yeah, yeah, 1930, right? Yeah. So that show you and I'm gonna read look, George Washington Carver. Um who else they got in here? Uh, Sherry Jackson. I'm gonna read an excerpt out of this, man. I'm telling you, you wanna you wanna talk about brilliant, man. And I got this from a, a, a damn doctor's office. I'm sitting there in the doctor's office, and I picked this book up. I'm like, man, I'm taking this. Right. <laughs> I was a savage, man. Look, okay. Let me get um. The, you got to read the story of jo George Washington Carver, but I'm gonna give you one since you know about him. Right there, you know Henry Ford offered him a job and he turned it down. Really? Yeah, Henry Ford offered George Washington the job, or George Washington Carver, and he said, no, I'm okay. He was a humble Negro too, man. Look, that's him right there. Yeah, that's him. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, uh, this is, uh, his name is Ernest Everest Just. It says, uh, Mr. Uh, Ernest Everest Just was born on August 4th. Let me go and show you what he actually did. Okay, it says, after graduating, Ernest looked for a job as a research biologist. But uh, it says, but those jobs weren't being offered to black scientists. Right. So he was a scientist. We're not just so-called athletes. Right. We're, we're, we're brilliant, man. Right. Our minds don't work like these other people do, man. George, why, hey, this is, I'm gonna have to, we have to yeah. go into this book, man. But let me finish reading this. And it says, for thou art in holy people unto the Lord thy power. The Lord thy power has chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. The Lord did not set his love upon you nor choose you because ye were more in number than any people for ye were fewest in, of all people. Because he took a small multitude and he made them great, man. Right. You know, let's wait for this madness to go by, man. Yeah, because, uh, uh, yeah, uh, uh, I've been uh, above all people. That does not. So, to me, now, 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 uh, 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 uh to me, that's beautiful. But, uh, to these people, though, they say it's racist. Yeah, well, you're, 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 what is this? You're, uh, extreme, you're extremists. Nor gonna jack them up, man. That's why this is their this is their land, man. Right. Let us do that, man. Right. Right. Let a, let let some young black males do that, man. Getting shot, stabbed, and arrested. Right. <laughs> and not in that order either. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah. I, hey, I, I I just look at it like, look, man. That's highly disrespectful, man. Right. Right. You see people behind you. Why would you do that, man? Right. Right. They hate. That's why I said they hate him. That rebuketh in the gate. Right. They don't like us, man. They look right. at us like, man. Look at these dudes. Cause we're calling them out. Right. We're not out here telling them sweet things like, oh, y'all gonna have a good life. You know, you gonna hit the lotto or some madness. Finish right. that in Psalms, man. Right. I ain't trying to hold you up, man, if you got something to, okay. All right, all right. I was just making sure, man. It's a, uh, they are not in trouble uh -huh. as other men. Huh. Hey, you know you're Israelite, man? You know you're Israelite? You heard that before, huh? Okay. <laughs> no, man, you, you, you're, you're, What's happening now, man? You got the beard too? Yeah, you already got a beard, so he's already that's 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 click one, you know what I mean? What's up, you man? Yeah, yeah. But what are we out here to do, man? We're out here to wake up our people and let them know that what's you see all the shootings that's happening, all the things that's taking place, man. That's the Lord that's stirring us up, man. Okay? Because he brought us over here to serve this. Don't forget about this. You remember this, huh? Yeah, that's hardcore. You wanna forget that, huh? But right here, this is the punishment on us, man. Cause he, don't we call him our heavenly father, right? Yeah. So if you got a son or a kid, right, and your kid goes off and he's being bad, what are you gonna do to that child? 
Yeah, you're gonna discipline them, right? Because you love them, right? So the same thing, the Most High loves us, so he puts us, he, he disciplined us, man. We were going off. We were doing things that was worthy unto death, man. We were going after idols. You remember in Moses, the story of Moses, right? What did the Israelites do? They built the golden calf right after the Lord delivered them, man. Yeah. The Lord delivered us out of Egypt in a great deliverance. And I'm going I'm to hit you to something. We're in the modern day Egypt now. Give me uh, Deuteronomy 28. Because okay. hey, what's on the back of the United States dollar, man? <laughs> he know. He know. Don't let me pull the dollar out. Right. What is on there? What's on the back of the dollar? A pyramid. A pyramid, right? Why don't they got a turtle dove? I thought it's in, I thought it's in God we trust. <laughs> so where's the turtle dove at? Where's the cross? Why you got a pyramid, man? Yeah. Come on. Get that right. form. Uh, 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 real quick, uh, you too, man. Be safe out here, bro. All right, all right. This is Deuteronomy 28 and 68. Yeah, this is to give you something real quick, man. Let you know. This all is right. to prove that you're Israelite. Come on. All right, uh, and the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. With what? With ships. How do we get over here? Ships. Ships, right? In Egypt again, in the back of the dollar is an Egyptian pyramid, right? So they, they, they're, they're tying themselves spiritually to Egypt. It's not saying the physical Egypt because the name of Egypt, If you let's say we go on a time machine, we go back to Egypt, right? Or back in the days of Egypt. They weren't calling themselves Egyptians. Egypt was not a name they called. The name of Egypt was called Mizraim. Yeah. Um, um, and that uh, name means to bind. Uh, means to bind or to entrap. That's what Egypt so means. So we were entrapped in Egypt. Again. Right. Give me 45, give me 45 for him real quick, right. man. Cause this is the proof, this is like the lock, I call it the lock, stock, and barrel scripture, yeah. man. All right, let me say, uh, okay, this is 45. Yep. Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Come on, and these are the curses that we're going through right now. Being at the bottom, always hurting, we always struggling, we all, none can go right, man. I know you done felt it. It's like anything you do, shit don't go right, man. <laughs> You know, come on. Let me say, uh, till thou be destroyed, yep. because thou hearkenest not unto the voice of the Lord thy power. Come on, to keep His commandments, yep, and His statutes which He commanded thee, yep. Come on, and they shall be upon thee for a sign. And, and I'm not, am I not holding a sign in, in my hand? So he said, <laughs> yeah. He said it's gonna be upon you for a sign, so people are gonna be able to be like, damn, that's. That has to be the Israelites, because what they going through. Come on. All right, I'm going to say it's uh, for a sign and a wonder. Yep, people wonder at this, man. They wonder at this, because I was reading today, you know, almost, it was 90 million they killed of us, man. Just coming over here, man. 90 million. You, can you fathom that number, bro? That's, that's, that's generations, man. Finish it, finish it. I'm say, um, uh, 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 upon thee for a sign and a wonder and upon thy seed forever. Upon thy children. Because you're, you're, you're a descendant of a slave. Come on. All right. Uh, I'm going to jump down to uh, 48. Let me say, therefore, thou shalt serve thine enemies. Yeah. Go, go. Finish, finish, finish 47. Seven, right. Yeah, 47. Uh, all right. It says, because thou servest not the Lord thy power with joyfulness, and with gladness of heart. Why it says that? Because the Lord, when he, when I said like he's a fa he was our father, just like say you're rich, say we got money, right? We got some sons, right? Our sons ain't gonna want for anything, but we know in our heads, damn man, they're gonna be spoiled. Right, right, right. If they don't go through nothing, they, they won't know because we gonna leave our money to them and what are they gonna do? They gonna mess it off, man. You see what I'm saying? So the Lord was like, he, he gave us everything because look at King Solomon. King Solomon was the wisest king in the whole world, man. He was an Israelite. Now, now I don't know if you, now, um, I don't know if you read the Song of Solomon. He said, he specifically said, I am black but comely. Beautiful. Right, black but beautiful. That's what Solomon said. I'm black and beautiful. <laughs> Who said that today, man? Come on, now. Come on, man. man. Finish it for him. Right. Right. Hey, this is gonna stamp yeah. it, man. It says, uh, and with gladness of heart. For the abundance of all things. We had all things. He, he gave us the land flowing with what? Milk, Milk and, and honey. honey. And that place was beautiful, man. Yup. Come on. That man, we don't have a homeland now. Right. They say we Africans. Take your ass to Africa without a passport. <laughs> man, it's over with. Man, you would be gutted. Yeah, they'll eat you over there, man. Them Hamites are savages, man. Yeah, Come on. Says, Therefore thou shalt serve thine enemies. Thou shalt serve thy enemy. Come on. Which the Lord shall send against thee. The Lord sent them to the coast of Africa because we fled to Africa after we left Jerusalem. Because the Romans, which are so-called white people, they besieged Jerusalem and they sacked it. They burnt the temple, they killed whoever was in there. So we ran. 
The Lord told us, he said, when you see the abomination that make it desolate, flee. 